yarn sensation. Just click on my yarn lady or click the subscribe button. For our little flower detail, you will need two strands of yarn, your main color, and a second color. And you just want to chain two. And you will place a total of eight single crochets into that second chain. Next, you want to join in that first single crochet. You want to remove your main color from your hook. Working behind it, you can just fold over your main color, chain one, and you can cut your second color. Place that main color back on your loop. Next, you will chain seven. You will place your hook in the second chain from the hook, pull up a loop, and you will repeat this to the end. Place your hook in the next stitch, pull up a loop. Place your hook in the next stitch, pull up a loop. The next stitch, pull up. The next, pull up. And the last, pull up. You will have a total of one, two, three, four, five, six seven loops on your hook next you want to place your hook into the same stitch that you started with and pull it through the first loop on your hook next pull your yarn through two loops on the hook and the next two loops and you want to repeat this until you only have one loop left on your hook Once you do that, you will chain one, okay, and you will repeat the same back down. Once you chain one, place your hook into the next stitch, pull up a loop. Place your hook in the next stitch, pull up a loop. Place your hook into the next stitch, pull up a loop. In the next, pull up a loop. And the next pull up a loop you will have a total of one two three four five six loops on the hook next you will pull through that first loop then you want to pull through the next two loops the next two loops the next two loops the next two and that last one chain one then we will repeat again place your hook into that first stitch pull up a loop place it in the next stitch pull up a loop place it in the next pull up in the next pull up you will have one two three four five loops on the hook pull your yarn through that first loop and then pull it through the next two loops the next two the next two and the last one you want to chain one place your hook into that first stitch place it into the next pull up a loop place it into the next pull up a loop you will have one two three four loops on the hook pull your hook through that first loop and then pull it through the next two the next two and the last two chain one place your hook into that first stitch pull up a loop place it into the next loop and pull up a loop you will have one two three loops on your hook pull your yarn through that first loop and then do two loops and then do the last two loops 
you will chain one, cut your yarn. You want to weave this tail into this piece of your work and then you will repeat the same design for the next one two three stitches and once you complete that you will weave in all of your tails cut any that you do not need and this little cute design will be complete Okay, once, once you have weaved in all of your tails, this will be your design. And what I do with mine is place it on the little bag that we made. And I will show you how I did it. And also you can sew it on or you can put a little fastener on the back where it can be removed. 